Hey everyone! Welcome back to another vlog featuring another month full of stories to tell and reflections to share. Before I go further, don't forget to give my video its well-deserved thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So this vlog is for April, the fourth month of the year. I suppose this would be the shortest vlog among the series I have prepared since this is a month that was more of slowing down and had full of reflections. This month was highlighted by the holy month of Ramadan, the month where we Muslims fast and abstain not only from food but also the bad habits we have had in the past and bring it onwards as the holy month ends and as we live life alone. It's about revisiting yourself and correcting whatever bad things you may have done before and bring that correction as you go out of the holy month of Ramadan and live life alone. Ramadan started on April 3, and to a sad note, I only had a day to begin fasting, and my period came, so I had to take a 7-day break since a Muslim woman cannot be fasting when her menses are on, and she cannot fast for the length of that period. So I had to take 7 days as my full blast set of work and errands, and before I go back to fasting once again. Oh my gosh, it was so much to pay back, but yeah, it's Allah's will, so I just have to accept it, and things happen for a reason. So yeah, most of the days were slow. I had less of my usual movement since it is Ramadan, and often I told myself to be more focused on this holy month, to devote my time to acts of worship, which must be strengthened or even improved upon, or even um, bettered and uh, while doing the usual works both academics and work mostly it's for the holy month and in this portion of the vlog i would like to show you how the days were spent some moments i've had and you could see that i am or i was mostly in my selfie mode since i spent most of the hours alone in my room reading and studying the quran listening to islamic lectures getting a good sleep and not doing anything that could um, distort my attention to my fasting, all for the sake of Allah. I mean, not to sound too religious though or to point out any bragging thing, but the point is that if there are days that we would give our best shots, it must be on this holy month. Since the rest of the days, we could be leaving our normal routines, but to make this month extra special and do away from what's usual was what I really intended to do. I had less of my study out or any other irrelevant things that could be done after the holy month. I, di I did um, do away from that and yeah, things for law school bodies for the entirety of April. And I was mostly spending the days at home. Even my days off were at home. I'm just so lucky how my boss, my dean, would always understand that I had to not go to school this day and whatnot. And just to understand the circumstances I was going through for that month. You know, I had moments and points of reflection about myself and would even cry it out in my room. Moments where I realized where I went wrong on some aspects, where I was too much, where I was too less, or moments of turnarounds telling myself which aspect about my own self, my image, I should change or improve on. We are not perfect after all, and I guess to be aware of what you need to do or work on is an achievement and enlightenment in itself. There was even a day, I remember it clearly, I could not really move from my bed. I felt so sad, worried, I cried it out for a reason I never understood, but only to reflect that maybe it was indeed a lost way to test me, given that it was Ramadan and that it was a blessing in itself and not a burden after all. And even if I had that downside, I took hold of myself, listen to the Quran and read its meaning and just like that things felt anew and I felt refreshed. Actually the 15th day of Ramadan today and uh, it's my first time to document a moment that I have in one of the days and 
the nights in the past days have been very heavy for me. I don't understand why, but as of now that I'm filming this, I'm feeling kind of better. And I hope this continues because the thoughts that were revolving around my head the past nights were too cloudy. I don't even understand it. Like, where is this coming from? That you don't eat enough, you don't sleep enough, so probably it's just it. And uh, I'm glad that I was not able to be very mad to anyone at that point. I'm really happy na wala naman ako na eme except for shutting it out. Like, let's not talk. Kasi yes, the next segment of this vlog, I'll be showing you what I usually eat, what we usually eat, and how it looks like on a setup of an iftar or buka and yun. So, I mean, my room, I changed my sheets too. So, yeah. This video is already 3 minutes, so I guess it would be enough for a segment. And so far, so good. Inshallah, everything will just go well. And let's be ready for the coming week. And I don't want this to happen again. Because it's not so me, it's not my vibe. And yeah, so all is well. And let's go on. Other than that, here were the moments mostly at work or studying for some night classes. It was also an amazing month actually since most of the professors rarely met us. There would always be a reason for them not to meet us. I don't know, it's, it was really a blessed month for me. It was either the professor was out of town, busy with court stuff, or just really could not meet us for the day or for the night. Few classes met us naman, but the point is that it was like a short break away from the hype of law school. It was savior since at night, it's not the stoppage of the Ramadan. At night, we may eat, but you know, the acts of worship, prayers, and whatnot are still to be continued. It does not end once we start eating the food. So having that little sanity break from law school for a reason that was probably meant to be with Ramadan was so amazing. So yeah. And on this portion of the vlog, more clips of what April really had brought me. going to run errands for an event that my office will be holding that is the local recognition day so before estudiante pa ako um, 
I was already a part of the preparations, but it feels different now. Because ako na yung coordinator, so as usual, still hands on and feels different. So yon. Today will be running off errands for the medals, which I will be showing you, and then ribbons. So we got our medals, and here's the mayor. Hi, we got our medals. <laughs> Oh my god, ang ganda! Oh, MG! Nice! Dito na heading out. It's Ramadan night. So we're heading out just to have a breath of fresh air with my brother. He's been a while, nakakakalawang pala magsalita. So, we'll be going. I'll be driving kasi 4 days na kaya nakapag-drive. So, let's go. We stopped over by ano, Dunkin Donuts and magbo Boulevard sana kami. We were supposed to walk around pero <laughs> ang daming tao. Like walang parking, daming peoples, peoples. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm in the car. Nandun si Ping bumili ng donut sa Dunkin Donuts. So uh, ano ba nakakatawa? Bumili ng donut sa Dunkin Donuts. So wala lang joke ko tawa ko. Anyway, Ando na siya, walang ila. Ayoko maglights kasi may mga taong dumadaan. So I will be seen through the bright lights yung ginamit ko kanina. So ayun, uh, I'm doing this just to have a breath of fresh air kasi I was kept uh, at home lang for the past 4 days given the holy week. Um so I thought of going out na lang muna for a while and just to I'll be having coffee or what but so far, I just really want to drive around, so... What did you buy? What did you buy? Two donuts. 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 So it's another day recording this and I just came home from work and so far everything's well. Wala na naman, uh, we had a class this afternoon for civil procedure and so far so good though. I will just revisit the recordings I've had earlier and so far today has been a very blessed day because I received coffee from my students and Heidi came to give me food. So yon, meron na kami pang iftar. <laughs> And it's a very good time. So overall, it was a busy day. I've been processing the documents that were needed to be signed by the dean for the recognition day. And ito yung second probably major event ko online as a student coordinator. So though I would say this is the grandest kasi malaki yung gasto and uh, it's for the student body. So it's, it's, it's a productive day, I must say, and yun, busy with that stuff. I edited the guidelines and whatnot, so overall, it's more of documents. And now, I'm still dressed in my polo, and I'm just happy for the day, though. Yun, I'll be off to prayers and other preparations because the last 10 nights of Ramadan will finally enter anytime. Actually, mamayang gabi, mag start na 20 episode, it would go onwards, and preps are getting heavier and yeah more and more challenges but we'll make it and we'll survive so. so hi vlog i just got home from work and it's another fasting day and i just wanted to film myself just to uh share how my day actually went and i'm still on my work quotes i just had my shirt and a jacket here in khaki colors i love the color so basically um wait, let me adjust so basically it's i arrived at work in the afternoon after prayer and also 
I had a meeting with the dean and it was a good one and uh, it was preparation for the recognition date. So what we basically did was to plan things out, set all the dates and whatnot. And also, I would say it's a good day because we didn't have class in civil procedure. It was stressful siya kahapon and I did not really have a good sleep. Plus, yun, I'm kind of tired and I'm fasting too. So I just want to brag my jacket. It's me and Kathy. I got it from Shopee and it's a very good one. So I wish I could take a photo of this soon with a proper outfit next time. So yeah, this and at least we did. So. Now I'll be setting off to prepare for a prayer and also get dressed for home and other stuff. So basically that's just it. That's how my day went and overall the days are going faster. Ramadan is finishing and may we all get the rewards that we deserve. And also with work, kind of overwhelming, but I know I have the good people with me and they would help me. So and for law school too. I finished notes so I'm excited. Sana mapanindigan ko lahat. So thank you vlog. I just wanna share that and overall I had a tough day. Siguro kulang sa tulog. I was not so in a mood. I had to be busy and whatnot. So yeah, guys, just like that, the month ended. As a realization for the month, hmm, I guess it would be it's all about revisiting your purpose, more in the spiritual side or in the spiritual sense. You know, days could slow down and just take time to reflect about yourself and bring that reflection to your improvement. Start and continue to always aim for improvement. At times, it is in slowing down that we get to see what we missed out on, that we get to see where we put too much of our attention to that it may be wrong already for ourselves and i guess that was how i took april and ramadan all together a lot has happened as well but on a very good side too it was slow it was peaceful it was a quiet month with my family it was a time to get together all that all, all the nights that we were in so yeah it was just like that and I guess that's how it looks like. It's about revisiting your purpose and just really reflecting and moving forward to always aim to improve. Thank you for watching this vlog. Feel free to leave a comment down below and I'd like to see you and I look forward to see you on my next vlog which will feature one of the shakiest month I must say of my year and that is the month of May.